hello everyone welcome back now in this video we are going to have a look at real-time notification with GraphQL subscriptions now for that we are using AWS AppSync and serverless framework now this is the part 7 of our AppSync series and I hope you enjoy this video before we start with the implementation let's understand what is a GraphQL subscription now GraphQL subscription allows a GraphQL server to send data in real time via WebSocket or MQTT protocol to all the connected clients when specific event happens. Now in our case, our GraphQL server is a managed AWS AppSync service. An AppSync service is also using WebSocket or MQTT to send updates when we define subscriptions. Now in AWS AppSync, we can create any data source that is behind the AppSync service. Now you guys know we can attach uh, data sources such as DynamoDB, Aurora Serverless, this uh, relational database, uh, or AWS Lambda, Elasticsearch, or any HTTP endpoint. Now this HTTP endpoint could be any public service uh, that is running on your on-premises. Now we can make any of these data sources real time by creating a subscription on a mutation. Now what does that mean? Now in our application we have been creating an online bookstore. Now all the bookstore admins can create books. Now when they create books, we are calling this create book mutation. So today what we are going to do is we are going to uh, create a subscription on create book mutation. So that means as soon as a create book mutation occur, when a, a bookstore admin adds a new book, all the connected clients who either be using the browser, the web application, or the mobile app we don't have a mobile app but uh, if we have a mobile app they will also receive real-time notification as and when a new book is added now since we are using this manage AWS AppSync service it can scale out to thousands of uh, connected clients very easily all right so let's get started with the implementation now this is the backend folder now in the backend folder we have this schema of GraphQL so right now we have created this top level query and the mutation. So in the query, so this is the query type, we have three queries. And uh, for the mutation, we have a couple of mutations. And one of that is the create book mutation. So we are going to create a subscription onto this mutation. So how do we get started? First, we need to add that subscription. So it's another top level field called subscription and uh, we'll create a type called subscription as well so let's add that uh, subscription here so I'll add type subscription and I'll call this subscription on create book and this subscription is to going to return a book type so this is our book type so all my connected clients will receive these attributes. Now, uh, there's a one thing you should remember. Now, since we are listening on to this create book mutation, now this create book mutation is going to return a book type. So that means our subscription can only return maximum of these attributes. So let's use that maximum number. So that is why I'm returning this book type here. Now I need to tell AppSync, okay, we are subscribed into that mutation. For that, I'm using a directive. And this directive is called AWS subscribe. And it accepts the mutations array. And the mutation is the mutation name that is create book. So create book is our mutation name. So that's basically it. Now here we are not going to create any mapping template as earlier. Now we can create mapping templates if we want to restrict some data to certain clients based on some parameters, but we are not going to do that. We want every connected client to be notified as and when a new book is added. So let's deploy this. I'll do SLS deploy. Okay, so it is deployed. Let me go to AWS console and in the API, so this is our YouTube AppSync API. So I'm in the AWS AppSync console. I will open it. 
uh, go to the queries and I need to log in and in the early episode we create a user called admin so let me log in with him here we go okay I'm successfully logged in now I can see I have a query mutation and the subscription top fields now let me add mutations so we have uh, two mutations and I will add the queries as well so you know what are the queries so we have three queries and I will add the subscriptions as well so we have one subscription but let's try out our subscription so let me open another tab let me duplicate this in in fact so I'll duplicate this uh, tab now here I will log in with a different user I have like these three users I'll use this user at test.com login and here I will add the subscription one more time and select the subscription and I will see okay as soon as a book is added I need to know the author name book ID description price and the title and then I'll click play button and I'll play the subscription you can see now it is subscribing to that mutation so if you get that error remove that above uh, mutation block and try one more time so here now it is properly getting subscribed okay now in the other screen let me create a new book so I'll add a mutation one more time so I'll create book mutation new book and let's set the author new author new description price 30 title new title and then I will create this so it is created if I go to the other console I should also see this data appearing so subscription seems to be working nicely and now let's integrate with our web application so I'll stop this one go back to my code editor and I will go to the front-end folder so here in the front-end folder we have the bookstore and inside that we have the source folder and inside it uh, let me open the app.js file now in the previous episode we have already imported uh, AWS amplify library and we actually used it as well and also we imported uh, with authenticator high order function and amplify sign out uh, component from uh, amplify UI react library so let's first add authentication to our application so in my app.js the main file let me wrap my app.js with with authenticator so it will give me a nice U a login screen and then previously we commented out the amplify sign out button now that we have added the uh, sign in so let's add the sign out as well so anyone can log out using this button previously we have been testing the get book query but now we need to test the subscription so on top we've already imported the get book by id query and that is inside the graphql queries uh, folder so if i go to graphql here and i have the folder called query and then i have the book.js now this is uh, the query graphql query and we just directly copy it from uh, from the appsync uh, client so similarly let's create another folder here for subscriptions subscriptions and i'll create a subscription file called book.js and let's export the subscription export const on create uh, book and then we have to write the uh, subscription what we are going to do just like we did in the previous time we are going to copy it from here in the AppSync console we already ran the subscription let me just copy this this entire thing and come over here and paste it in I'll do a little bit of formatting add an indentation well this looks good and I will import it here in the app.js file so I imported on create uh, function and that will return the subscription next let's get this uh, web browser to listen on to this uh, subscription 
so I will use use effect so I import it here as well and this will just run one time when the application loads let me add a variable of this constant called subscription and I'm going to use the API from AWS Amplify API dot GraphQL and then I'm using the helper function GraphQL operation just like we did previously GraphQL operation and I'm passing in this time the on create book subscription earlier we passed the uh, get book ID but this time this uh, time we will pass the subscription dot subscribe so once we got the data from this on create book in real time what should we do next so let's add this next and we get the result and I will invoke a function I will first uh, console log the result so we can see it in the console and then let's add a toast message so our users can see a new book has been added so for that I will use this uh, toastify library so let me first install it I will install npmi react toastify and then I will import the toast from react toastify I will also import the style sheet that is in react toastify dist folder react toastify.css all right and finally I will use the toast message before that we need to uh, configure the toastify for that I will just do toast.configure that's it and then I can use the toast new book added now as soon as a new book is added I will get the subscription in real time and I will console log it and I will issue a toast message and also if you can look at our HTML here we are calling this view book function and here also we are returning some JSX and we are printing out the book title book description author and price so let's set this book so whatever the new book uh, that we receive from this subscription because we are returning that book type right so let me take it into a variable first const new book I can find it in result dot value dot data then uh, the subscription name on create book and after that I will set that book new book and the set book will set the value to the book variable and we are going to print it out here so let's run and see if we get any errors yarn start okay I get the login screen I will log in with the user user at test.com apparently my user pool client is incorrect so let's go and fix it in index.js we configured our user pool details so our correct user pool web client is this and let me add the uh, new details because after the previous episode I delete the stack and created it so we need to update this and also let me update the uh, GraphQL endpoint as well so this is the old one so the new one is this it looks good and let me try one more time yes I got logged in and let me inspect element because uh, I added a console log and now I will uh, have two browser windows side by side and this is our AWS app sync console and let's issue the same create book uh, mutations to create a book called new book title and issue this one more time and there we go I got the toast message new book added perfect and I have printed errors only but if I added the default level I should see the console log and here we go and in the value section I see the data and in the data we have on create book and these are the fields that we requested through the subscription and let's simulate multiple clients so I'll open Safari another browser and log in with the new user and I'll try to have all these windows in the same screen if I can okay let's change the book name just a little bit new book 
2. So I should see the new title as new book 2 and also I should get the toast message as and when I create it here. Let me create it from the AppSync client created and as you can see the two toast messages appear and it updated the view as well. Perfect. So this is what I want to show you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a new episode.